Hello, my name is Andrew. Today I'll be uh, providing my first uh, CamCast using uh, Cam Studio, and I'll be talking about version 3 of the Context uh, module. In addition, I'll be uh, demonstrating how to use it and also um, how to drag and drop blogs or blocks on your uh, screen with it. So, what does the Context module do? Well, if you've um, configured blocks on your website before, you know that you can. Um, uh, set up some rules where you can display them on specific pages or not display them on other pages. Um, really the context module provides that sort of functionality on uh, steroids. So for example we could say if the current page is the front page then let's display a, um, a menu block over on the left hand sidebar and make a, uh, a menu item uh, active. The modules required to set this up are first C tools is required by the context module as well as the context module itself. If you'd like the drag and drop functionality then you need to download the admin module not admin tools, the jQuery update, the jQuery UI module as well as the jQuery UI library from jQueryUI.com. And then when you get it up and running once you've downloaded the jQuery UI library, it goes into the jQuery.UI uh, subdirectory from the jQuery UI uh, module, and that's all available in the README text. So let's go and um, enable uh, some of these modules, and we'll just start out with the uh, C tools in context. So first off, I'll enable Chaos Tools, and I quite often like to enable the uh, precursor directories before I enable the uh, actual modules themselves. So I've enabled that. Now we'll go enable context and the context UI. And uh, we'll go see how that all works. So now if I go administer, I now have a uh, context uh, menu in my site building. So let's click on that and we will add a rule. So let's say the unique ID for this, uh, typical with um, uh, CCK, we um, require something unique. So we'll just put in front for this. And the tag will be, um, uh, we'll call it front again. Oh, th there's a tag up there, front. And we'll call this just a front page. So we're just going to have um, one condition that we're going to do and all sorts of things. We can have different types of um, uh, content types, uh, if a menu is active, uh, but in this particular case if the path is the uh, front page, we'll have a reaction of a uh, block and we'll add a block over to the left sidebar. Oop, got to select a uh, something first and I've just created a little test block with some uh, text in it. We'll add that over to the sidebar and we'll save that. Such that if we are on the home page which we'll be over on in a sec we now have a text block up in the left hand corner of our uh, screen. You can actually also enable a, um, a debugger with that. So the uh, context Add a reaction, add the debug, save that, and when we're on the front page, it will show a little uh, a little debug uh, item here for us, and then we can go back and edit the uh, context again. So very cool functionality, but we can't drag it and drop it yet. So let's go and enable some of the other modules, and we'll start off with the admin module which uh, gives us a nice uh, menu bar over on the left hand side of the screen as opposed to the top of the screen. Now that'll be an excellent module for the, any of you with uh, wide screens um, because everything's pretty well widescreen these days. Now let's go back to here. I will also in, uh, enable some of the other modules and that will be the uh, jQuery update and jQuery UI.
Now, this should give us the ability to start dragging our, um, our uh, blocks around. So once we've enabled those other modules, you notice that the context editor is now shown on the admin module. So let us go and uh, edit the context editor, or edit with the context editor. We go and uh, here's the um, context that we defined, and we'll edit that now. Conditions are the blocks and the theme variables. I don't think we'd set a theme variable before, but we can add that. So in this particular case, we now have a block with a um, move icon as well as a uh, delete this icon. So let's go and move this around to another area. We've now moved that over to the right sidebar because that's uh, supported in this theme. We're now done and we can save those changes. So that gives you a uh, the ability to drag and drop your blocks around the screen. If we go and let's say close this, go back to our, um, oh, go back to admin and site building and context and we go and edit that, we'll see that the blocks are moved over to the right sidebar. So a little squeeze there but I think you see how that uh, works out and so what I'd like to do next is um, for another podcast in the future is to actually um, see how we can convert the home pages or some of these other pages to put nodes inside the blocks so that we can actually move this um, the blocks around up and down within a specific theme. So I'm going to have a look at the nodes and blocks uh, um, module in the future. So anyways, that's how you can use the context module and I'd like to thank um, a Trent of Small Robot um, for putting me on to the uh, how we can use these modules in conjunction with each other. Well, I hope you like the podcast or uh, camcast. Thank you.